1300 hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Ali Ahmad. First, the headlines. Prime Minister and Balochistan Chief Minister at a meeting in Islamabad today have discussed ongoing development projects in the province. Economic Coordination Committee meeting is underway in Islamabad to discuss overall economic situation of the country. Special Assistant on Information says those who have looted the national wealth will not be able to escape accountability. In occupied Kashmir, normal life remains badly affected due to the military siege and broadband internet shutdown on 178th consecutive day today. And now the news in detail. Balochistan Chief Minister Jam Kamal Khan called on Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad today. Ongoing development projects and different affairs of the province came under discussion in the meeting. Meanwhile, Inspector General Sin Sayyid Kaleem Imam called on Prime Minister Imran Khan in Islamabad today. Economic Coordination Committee meeting is underway in Islamabad with advisor on finance, Hafiz Sheikh, in the chair. It will discuss overall economic situation of the country. Special Assistant to Prime Minister on Information and Broadcasting, Dr. Firdaus Ashikavan says, those who have looted their nation and are now posing themselves as victims will not be able to escape accountability. In a tweet today, she said PMLN has left the field. She said the PMLN president fled the country in November. She said the PMLN top leadership looks healthy on the roads and in the hotels of London, but they are ill while facing the courts. The special assistant said the PMLN leadership is receiving salary from parliament, but they are not available to serve the nation. A two-day first ever Pakistan-Africa Trade Development Conference will commence at Nairobi tomorrow. The conference is being hosted jointly by Pakistan and Kenya and will also be attended by dignitaries from other African states. The conference will provide an important opportunity for Pakistani and African business to interface, identify the areas of enhanced engagement and develop proposals for customized economic collaboration. Foreign Minister Shami Mukhureshi and advisor to the Prime Minister for Commerce, Trade and Investment, Abdul Razak Daud will address the inaugural session. Pakistan National Council of the Arts organized a photo exhibition in Islamabad today depicting the struggle of Kashmiri people for their right to self-determination. Speaking on the occasion, Parliamentary Secretary for Kashmir Affairs and Gilgit Baltistan, Sobia Kamal said, India is committing the worst form of oppression in occupied Kashmir. She noted that such kind of exhibitions at the international level can help further highlight the worst human rights situation in occupied Kashmir. Chairperson Peace and Cultural Organization Mashal Malik said that Indian forces have failed to suppress the freedom struggle of Kashmiri people despite inhuman atrocities. She said this while inaugurating a photo exhibition organized in connection with Kashmir Solidarity Day in Rawalpindi. Mashal Malik urged the United Nations to play its active role to free Kashmiris from the clutches of India. In occupied Kashmir, the Kashmir Economic Alliance, an amalgam of several traders' bodies, has decried shortage of essential commodities due to the frequent closure of the Srinagar Jammu Highway. The residents of the Kashmir Valley have been facing an acute shortage of their daily necessities, including food items, petrol, and life saving medicines since 5th of August last year. The vice chairman of Kashmir Economic Alliance, Ajaz Shahdar, in a statement issued in Srinagar, said that this winter the movement of vehicular traffic got frequently disrupted on the Srinagar Jammu Highway, and as a result, there was an acute scarcity of essential in the market. Meanwhile, normal life remains badly hit in the Kashmir Valley due to the military siege and broadband internet shutdown on 178th consecutive day today. 
U.S. military has warned South Korean workers of potential leave if Seoul and Washington failed to reach a deal on sharing costs for the upkeep of 28,500 U.S. soldiers in South Korea. The U.S. forces in Korea said it began to send furlough letters to employees with U.S. law requiring 60 days' notice. British Airways has suspended bookings for direct flights from London to Beijing and Shanghai until March after warnings over travel to China due to the coronavirus outbreak. West Indies have won the toss and elected to bat first in the second quarterfinal of ICC Under-19 World Cup at Benoni. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.bk. And also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link, facebook.com slash radiopakistan newsofficial.